Hi everybody, my name is Justin Shives with Runaway Campers. Today, I'm gonna to show you our 2021 Ventress models. For 2021, our roofs are a full one-piece fiberglass roof. There's no seams whatsoever in it. All of our panels, all the wall panels, the floor panels, all the same material, it's fiberglass PVC composite. We have our loved and adored fenders that are, they're full steel fenders, flat on the top so you can use as a cooktop, bar top, however you want to use it. But you can also stand on this. This is going to support your weight. The fenders tie into the frame at the bottom, but we have outriggers that come out to protect those fenders from any kind of rock damage and stuff like that. Standard tire on our Ventress model is a 33 inch tire. It's actually a 285 70 R17 BFG all-terrain. And then the rims we're putting that on is going to be a method race rim. Um, they are mounted on Timberin axle suspension. So you have no axle underneath, so there's nothing to get hung up. It's fully independent. So it rides great, not only on the road, but off road. And then behind those wheels mounted to that suspension is also electric brakes. Electric brakes are standard on all of our Ventress models. On the rear of the Ventress, we have our drop down stabilizer jacks. These are just meant to be drop down so that when you're disconnected from your vehicle, you don't risk falling back or tilting it backwards. On the front of the Ventress model, you'll see a hard shell cover around your AC unit. The hard shell cover is aluminum diamond plate that is powder coated the same black that the lower diamond plate is powder coated in as well. This cover is non-removable. It's hard mounted, it doesn't have to be removed. So you no longer have to worry about taking anything off to run that AC stays on. On the front of each Ventress model, there's a few things that are dedicated just for our off-road trailers. One of those things, and probably the main thing, is going to be the Max Coupler. The Max Coupler is a full articulation coupler for primarily off-road use. It has great handling capabilities and everything on-road, but for off-road, you don't have to worry about it decoupling like you would with a two-inch ball. We also have, instead of chains, we have cables. So these cables, I like them personally better than chains because they don't rattle around and they're also coiled so they stay up high and tight. They don't hang down low so you don't risk, have as much risk of getting them snagged on things. We also have a seven pin round connector. This connector will be what powers your tail lights and your brake lights obviously, but they also power your brakes. So you'll have to have a brake controller in your vehicle but this is what will control all of that. So we've shown you what's happening up front. Now let's show you what's happening in the back. On the back of our Ventress, we've got slimline taillights mounted to the frame instead of off to the side of the frame. So you don't have to worry about knocking them off. And then we also have a rear hitch. This rear hitch just isn't for accessories for a bike rack. It can be used as that, but it can also be used as a tow point. It can be used as a tow point because it's part of our frame system. The frame has a tongue that goes from front to back. There is no break in between. So it adds tremendous strength to the frame as well as making this a perfect tow point for if you get stuck off-road. This particular unit also has the option of the rear door. So on our Ventress model, we offer a handful of different options. Some of those options I have mounted to my personal unit here. One of those starting at the top is going to be the Batwing awning. The Batwing awning wraps around to the back side versus the Sunseeker awning comes straight out. All of our awnings get mounted to our roof rack, which is an option. On the roof rack, you can mount a roof basket, a roof box, different items like that. Um, we also have mounted here is the 11 pound propane tank it is mounted with a power tanks mount. So for the propane, I actually use it for cooking. I just put a hose onto the, the tank right there, leave the tank mounted, and I'll either put my stove top on top of the fender or I'll put it on my table that I usually put over here. I also have matching rims and tires to my vehicle. So instead of the 33s, I've got 35 inch tires. And then instead of the standard method rim, I've got the specific method rim to match my vehicle. We can typically match rims and tires depending on availability at our supplier. 
A few other options that we have available for your Venturist is going to be Rotopax fuel, Rotopax water. On mine, I personally have two two gallon fuel packs right here, and then on the back, I've got two two gallon water. So the fuel I use for my vehicle for if I'm running out when I'm on the trails off road, or if I'm in a weird area and I don't want to stop. And then I can also use it for my generator when I'm carrying that. The water I use for washing dishes, for my dogs, for myself, for topping off water on the Jeep, or rinsing things off. Spaghetti. That's what it is. <laughs> Here it is. That's the thing. It's the thing. It's on the thing. I feel like there was a lot too much talking there.